Okay, let's talk about this math mistake that uh, so many math students make. And it's a, um, a mistake that's so easy to do. It's like, an, there's almost like a natural tendency for students to want to make this error. Okay, so I've just seen this uh, mistake over and over again in different forms. Um, but it basically, it's the same fundamental error or a misconception. And students, you know, when they really look at it, will know better. But it's such an easy way to get yourself in trouble with your uh, math solution. So we're going to really look at this um, in depth. Hopefully this uh, video doesn't go too long. But I'm going to look at algebraic examples and numeric examples because I really want you to understand uh, uh, why you do not do what uh, most people want to do. There's a tendency to want to make this mistake. I'm going to get to that in a second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed many, many online complete math courses. And uh, of course, I have my full learning program. So if you're a middle and high school math uh, student or beyond, you can go and check out my math help program. Uh, and full courses by following the link in the description of this video. Um, again, that's where you're going to find my full and complete uh, math instruction, uh, various problems solved, full lessons, etc. Also, if you're interested in picking up a set of notes, I have uh, some notes in the description for your course level, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geom uh, geometry, algebra 2, trig. Uh, so if you look, uh, look beneath this video or in the description, you should find a link to those as well. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Of course, I have something here written x plus y over x. So um, can we simplify this? Can we make this expression simpler, right? Is this, uh, if I said simplify the expression x plus y over x. Now, let's just be honest with ourselves. If you look at this, uh, what what's your nat natural tendency to want to do? Okay, for most people, okay, I'm going to tell you, most students will want to do this. They'll say, oh, I have an x and an x, so I can cross cancel, and this is equal to y, okay? So if that's what you were thinking, uh, then, you know, that's a natural, that, that kind of like feels right to be able to do, right? Well, this is completely wrong, completely wrong, okay? So this is the mistake that I'm talking about, but let's, let's see why we... Uh, make this error, okay? And then we're going to uh, reinforce this through other examples. Now, what's the difference between that scenario and this scenario? What if I had x times y over x, okay? Then I said, hey, simplify this, okay? Can you simplify this uh, situation, all right? Well, yes, you can. Okay, this time, if you cross-cancel the x's, you're left with y, this is correct, okay? But if you do this, cross cancel, and you're left with y, this is absolutely incorrect. So you gotta really be paying attention to these operators and what they mean. So let's take a look at this through some other examples, and I can just tell you right now, uh, so many uh, students make this error, okay? And if you're going quick, if you're not paying attention, it's so easy to get off track, but let's uh, see why this is a no-no. <laughs> and uh, Oh, anyways, through these different examples here, you'll see um, other variations of this problem. So let's, uh, let's take this 2 plus 5 over uh, 3, okay? So if I said, uh, let's work on this problem, 2 plus 5 over 3, let's get the right answer here. Let's simplify it. What would you do? You would say, okay, 2 plus 5 is what? That's 7. So this is equal to 7 thirds, right? All right, no problem, okay? And you would not you would get the right answer because there's nothing to cross-cancel. You're like, okay, there's, you know, I can't take this 3 and divide it to this. So you, you don't have the tendency to make this error. But now let's kind of mess with your mind here for a second, <laughs> kind of like an optical illusion. What if we had um, 2 plus 5 over, let's say, 2, okay? Well... Here, very easy, uh, you could be like, oh, 2 plus 5 over 2, oh, I could cross cancel, and this is equal to 5, all right? Well, is that right? No, okay, because 2 plus 5, 2 plus 5 over 2 is 7 halves, okay? That is the answer, not 5, okay? This is incorrect. So you can just see 
through um, using the American examples that this is wrong. So this is uh, this mistake comes up in elementary math, you know, middle school math, algebra, beyond. Okay, it's just such a common, common, uh, you know, uh, mistake. So stick with me because I'm not done uh, telling the full story here. So here. All right, we don't see any common numbers, so we, we're not going to make that mistake. So we go ahead and have a tendency to make this right. So this is why this this um, uh, error doesn't happen all the time because you don't see a pattern. But when you see something like this, and math teachers love to put questions like this on tested and quizzes because they just know that students are going to go, oh, there's my answer. And you'll see that too uh, on the answer. So if this was a question, you would have like A is A equal to 5, is B is the right answer, 7 half, C maybe 3. They'll come up, they'll make up some numbers. And I kind of stress this in a lot of my videos. Just because you see your answer on a multiple choice test is not confirmation that you did the problem right. That's just confirmation that your math teacher kind of tricked you <laughs> in picking the wrong answer uh, based upon doing a very common mistake. So you got to pay attention to the details in math. Okay, now let's take a look at another example. All right, and then I'm going to kind of reinforce this. Uh, so don't don't leave the video too soon. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. How about uh, 10 minus 3 over uh, 3? Okay, so 10 minus 3 over 3, what's the answer here? If I was to do this problem, now I know we want to cross cancel, but let's just do this correctly, right? So 10 minus three uh, is going to be seven, so seven thirds. Okay, that is the that is the answer. Okay, but some of us will want to take the shortcut and be like, okay, 10 minus three, I could just kind of do a quick cross canceling here, and that would be 10. So clearly, 10 minus three uh, divided by three is not 10. Okay, the answer is in fact seven thirds. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, when we had the numerator, okay, uh, as a difference, a subtraction or addition, and we try to ca cross cancel, then we run into problems. But this is not, I'm just showing you, you this uh, error, how it comes up in its different form. So let's, let's take a look at something like this, 2 over 2 plus 1. Okay, what's the answer here? Let's just do it correctly. That's 2 over 2 plus 1 is 3. It's 2 thirds. But if I was to cross cancel, I would do something like that. I would be left with what? You would just technically you'd just be left with a one up here. So this would really just be one over one or one. Okay, obviously two divided by two plus one is not one. Okay. All right. So what is the main gist here? Okay. Well, the main gist is the following. Okay. Uh, two plus three over three. All right. In mathematics, we have these fancy things called uh, grouping symbols, okay? They are parentheses, okay? They could be little brackets like this or brackets like that, okay? And we use these specifically to uh, reinforce sums and differences, okay? So 2 plus 3, if I went like this, all right? Now, psychologically, students uh, still make this error. They'll still cross-cancel, okay? But this is kind of like um, when you put these grouping symbols, right? Grouping symbols mean, hey, you've got to just this whole thing is one entity. It's one, uh, like one number, one value, okay? And you can't kind of uh, invade it. You have to kind of like take care of what's inside the parentheses. So you remember PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, the order of operations, how we do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, and all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully you're familiar with this and how to use it. But remember the first thing on this list is what? P, parentheses. Do everything inside parentheses because it's like, hey, this is you know um, a value in and of itself. So we're talking about uh, sums and differences, all right? Basically things that you're adding up and subtracting. So here, two plus three is five thirds, right? This is completely different than factors, okay? Factors would be something like this. Two times three 
over 3. Okay, let's take a look at that problem here real quick. 2 times 3 over 3. This is being separated by uh, multiplication, right? So this is a completely different uh, scenario. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay? Now, if I was to cross-cancel, and you probably are familiar with that term, cross-cancelization, okay, that is completely a legal thing to do in math when we're talking about factors, right? This is referred to factors, so I can uh, cross-cancel those, and I'm left with 2, okay, which is the correct answer. But 2 plus 3 over 3, these guys, these pairs here are not, these are not factors. These are not factors. Here, I'm going to spell that wrong. These are not factors, okay? This is a sum. It goes together as one unit, all right? These are factors, so you can cross-cancel all day long, and you should, because that'll make your life easier, all right? Now, let's uh, see this same scenario played out um, algebraically, okay? So just like my beginning example, if I had, let's say, 2x minus y over y, okay, uh, again, there's a tendency for students to naturally be like, okay, I'm going to simplify this, and I could go like that, and now my answer is 2x, okay? I can tell you right now, for teaching uh, decades, all right, uh, that this happens so frequently that if you understand this, I'm drilling this into your to your brain housing group there <laughs> to make it stick in your long-term memory to avoid this because I can be, you know, if I was really not feeling nice one particular day and I want to come up with an, a quiz, I could be like, okay, here's your quiz. Simplify this expression. Simplify this expression. Uh, you got uh, one minute, right? A one-question quiz. I'll make it 10 points. All right, I could tell you right now, oh, depending on what I'm teaching this in the class, if I just kind of gave this as a random pop quiz, probably 70% of the students would get this wrong. They would go, okay, uh, there you go. There's the answer. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Um, the correct answer is it is fully simplified. Nothing I can do here, right? So it's like reduce this fraction. Reduce this fraction. Well, the fraction, in fact, is 5 halves. Mm, well, I can't reduce it. It is reduced as, uh, as, uh, as far as it can go. I can turn this into a mixed number, but I'm not going to reduce it by doing that. Okay? All right. So, again, uh, big difference between sums and differences. That's why we like to use grouping symbols. Okay? And if I was feeling kind of nice that day on that quiz, I could put... Some grouping symbols in there, and, and psychologically that could mean like, oh, this is kind of like a barrier here. Maybe I can't uh, do this. And that's why we use grouping symbols uh, in mathematics, all right, to kind of emphasize and show things as groups. It's a, it's a really an important um, uh, symbol and use of uh, grouping symbols. Again, they can come like this, or we can get these squiggly brackets or these type of brackets, etc. Okay, so that is uh, our error, okay? If you understand this, and if you made this mistake, first of all, we all make this mistake. If you haven't made it, you'll probably make it in the future. Hopefully, maybe not, okay? Maybe I spared you from making that mistake. But again, when you're learning mathematics, okay, whether it's uh, arithmetic, algebra, or beyond, you have to learn the, the principles, okay? You gotta follow these things. And, and there's just no shortcuts in learning math, okay? Uh, if you take shortcuts, you're gonna be paying the price, you know, later down the road. So just, you know, pay attention, you know, and build up your math skills one step at a time. By the way, if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, and just this is my, uh, you know, the first video you've seen of mine, I uh, thank you for dropping in. If you like my math instruction, I already have hundreds of videos on my channel. I've been on YouTube for several years. If you like the video, please consider smashing that uh, like button. Again, if you want to check out my full math uh, learning program or my notes, you can uh, check those out by following the links in the description. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.